We're talking mountain bikes in a week where some dude hit 167 kilometers an hour on a hill in Chile. Neil! No, it wasn't me, but we'll be talking about that speed record plus all the usual fun. You know what time it is? Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show. So this week, Marcus Stockel from Austria went 167 kilometers per hour on a mountain bike. That is the fastest ever. Yes, yeah, the second wow. time he's beat the record actually. And this is MS of MS Racing, Marcus Stockel. So he's Danny Hart's uh, team manager. Wait, Danny Hart's boss yep. is the fastest man on a mountain bike ever? Faster than Danny Hart, officially. That's incredible. Not bad, eh? I've done a snow race in Sars Fay, did about 85 miles an hour, but it doesn't feel that fast because there's nothing to look at, it's just snow. Well, you know, that did get me thinking, um, because when I watched the video of Marcus going down that hill, I did think it looked a bit, um, well, I mean, he's going fast, don't get me wrong, it's impressive, but yeah. it looked a bit, you know, kind of boring. I think they should put a little ramp in there somewhere so we hit it. You know, longest jumpers and fastest speed. So a little plastic, yeah. you know, yeah. Wallop. Uh, supermarket ramp in the middle of that downhill. And Marcus, he's missed an opportunity there. Yeah, I mean, flown. that's good because that's bringing it back into my realm. Because I was thinking, <laughs> is is mountain biking all about speed? Yeah. That feels, don't nod, that feels wrong to me. Because for me, it's always been about, you know, style and tricks and stunts. So it does, doesn't feel like mountain biking to me. So maybe putting a ramp in makes it a bit more a my little thing. Bit. I've always been about going fast. I like used to race downhill and race enduro. So I've always liked trying to challenge yourself to go as fast as possible. Well, I don't agree, Neil. And frankly, I've had enough of your opinion, so I'm getting rid of you. So, Scotty, help me out. Neil thinks it's all about speed. Marcus Stockel's gone very fast. I get it. But yeah. it can't all be about speed, can it? I don't know, man. It is definitely all about speed for me as well. You know, racing against the clock, it's all about how fast you can go top to the bottom. Oh, I got the wrong guy in here because you're a racer, aren't you? It's yes. in your blood. Yeah. You race to go and get a coffee. I mean, exactly. how fast have you ever been on a mountain bike? Have you ever reached the speeds like Neil has, like 85 miles an hour? Marcus, 167 kilometers an hour, Not that's quite fast. that, I've done 90 kilometers per hour and that was on snow. And that was seriously fast, you know, because everything's white around you. You can't really work out what speed is and you're just flying down the hill. Well, it's impressive, right? And I, I like that people go fast, but you're a speed demon, but you've had your chance, you're out of here. Fingers, hey. help me out. <laughs> It's not, all about, it's not all about speed, it's is not, it? No, why do you want to go fast all the time? Well, going fast now and again is all right. I mean, 167 kilometers an hour, that's excessive. That is very, very fast. I mean, it doesn't really even seem real to me. I can't imagine what that must be like. Mm. Imagine skidding see. at that speed. See, there you go. See? Skidding. Mm. We brought it right yeah. back to the people right there. Yes. When he was doing 167 miles per hour, Marcus, why didn't you do a skid? Imagine that. <laughs> you get everything. World's longest skid at the fastest speed. Yes. With that, would, would you put a jump? I'll put a jump in there. Well, a jump could go in there, but I feel that's dangerous. I think you would die. I feel that's dangerous. But I think the big skid, that's a great idea. And it does bring it back to show that mountain biking is not all about speed. It's about having it? fun. Yeah, exactly. Going out there and having a exactly. nice time. Exactly, having fun. Playing with your mates. I wonder what you was going to say then. And for instance, what did you do on your mountain bike yesterday? <gasps> I went to the trails. Did some jumps. I did some jumps. It's not all about speed, is it? Let us know in the comment section down below. Speed or not? Now, usually at this time of the week, I'd throw over to Neil for the news. The news. But the big news is, Neil, you're back. Back in the shed. Yes, you've been away. Andy's Pacifico. Yes. I, you've already told me behind yep. the scenes that it was fantastic. Yeah, hopefully you guys have seen the diaries as well. It was amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Mm. Loved it. I rode so much, like 12,000 meters descending, I think there was over five days riding. So serious amount of riding. That's a serious amount of descending. Serious, yeah, absolutely yeah. massive downhill. Some of them you start off on this really high plane and you just work your way all the way down to the bottom of the valley. Mm. 22 minutes, I think, was probably one of the longest stages. Oh, some seriously sore arms. Really, like my lower back and my hands were getting really sore after those big ones. I mean, it looked fantastic. The, yep. the scenery was incredible and it looked really hot. Yeah, 33 degrees every day, exactly the same. Um, there's a couple of big hikes at the bottom of the valleys with bike on the shoulders. 
Really steep, I think it's the hottest I've ever been. Wow. I'm, I, it looked epic, the trail diary that you sent us back was amazing and very nice. popular. Yeah, um, it. Is it an event that all of us guys could enter? Is it, is it realistic events try? Yeah, there was 91 guys and girls racing it of absolutely all sort of levels, skill levels. You got the pros who were taking it seriously, obviously, but mm -hmm. it's still pre-season for them. I was asking Jerome about it. He said, obviously, mm -hmm. it's great to win, but it's more about testing. Yeah. Johan Burrell, uh, yeah. Johan Brelli, sorry, on his new bike, um, said the same thing. He was just going out there to ride his new bike. And then the other end of the scale, you've got, you know, sort of novice riders who are mm -hmm. absolutely loving it as well. Probably taking you know, a bit more time than everyone else to mm -hmm. do it, but yeah, absolutely any level. It's a seriously fun event. And, and like you said, pros there, big names, Tracy Mosley. Yep. Cedric Grazia. Yep. Yeah, and yourself. Wow. <laughs> I came in 16th, I was kind of happy with that, but to be yeah. honest, I didn't really, if I checked the results the first day and the last day, mm -hmm. the middle three I just rode, because it was so much fun that mm -hmm. it was almost like secondary to, to actually actually just having fun, to be honest. Like, right, and this is a hard question. Sum it up in one word. Fun, very fun. <laughs> fires, 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 Neil, they're everywhere. Yeah, Chile has had a massive problem, but Johan Borelli's helping out with the GoFundMe page and the hashtag we ride for Chile. Uh, so you can find that link down below, but also in Christchurch, New Zealand, their newest bike park, something they've just spent loads of money on has just burnt down, along with 40 homes. So really sad news. Oh, not good news at all. And we need something to get us out of this uh, not so positive spin. Mm. So let's head over to what's happening on the channel in your comments this week. Some great comments from you guys out there this week. Um, and I'm just gonna jump back to last week's Dirt Show show. We were asking, can you even mountain bike in the snow? And Becca Howard and Auntie Strom both come in with great comments. Becca saying she's an XC Trek rider. She loves the snow, not extreme stuff, but she just loves getting out in the white stuff and having a play. It's tough. Um, and Auntie Strom says most of the time you can ride the trails faster in the snow than you can in the summer. Hmm. Is that true? He says obviously all the, the tracks are smoothed out, all the routes are out of the way, and you can absolutely nail it. Oh, sounds okay. good. And also a comment on your How to Dab video. Yes, uh, classic. Andrew Bo says the number of views on Martin's Dab video have me in tears. In tears because... because I think because the dab was so bad. I think that's what I'm taking from that. Comment. I think it's just because it was a lot of views and well-deserved <laughs> views too. Over on our Facebook page, Blake Sampson has started a new mini-series, Trick of the Week, which is really cool giving us all some skills on how to ride skate parks because they can be tricky things to take oh, yeah. on for your first time, can yep. be very scary. Uh, and last week he showed us how to drop in. Martin Blick has asked a very sensible question here, Neil. Yeah. Blake's teaching us for the first time how to drop in. Yeah. What on earth do you do when you get to the other side? You've got to get out. I think you just pedal, pedaling. Pedaling! <laughs> pedaling. <sighs> I mean, Blake, how do we get out, man? That's next week's video. Ah, there you go. Come in next week on Trick of the Week, how to get out of that bowl you've been in for about a week now. <laughs> okay, hold tight, Neil, because we did get absolutely tons of love for your Andy's Pacifico yes. videos, which is ace. Um, yep. So I'm gonna read a few of them to you. Try not to get too embarrassed. I won't. Um, Jack Rice says, aside from the shed, these have been my favorite videos so far. Congrats, Neil. Well, thanks very much. Love doing it. There you go. Uh, BKXC, BKXC says, thanks so much for these videos, Neil. Um, it's been great coming along with you and seeing you big boys ride. Thanks, Brian. Shout yeah. out to BKXC. Sorry, seeing how those big boys ride. That's different. Yeah, not me. Um, and Nero in Clean, um, this mini series was absolutely amazing. Congratulations to everyone who put them together. Well, thank you very much. There you I, go. I'm actually, when I've got a bit of time and I've unpacked my stuff, I'm going to go through the comments and try and answer all your questions if possible. But thanks for all those comments. Guess what time it is? What time is it, Neil? It's competition time. Yes. We have got three Crank Brothers Highline Dropper Seat Posts to give away. Look at those. Now, it's very simple to win these, or to try and win these. Yes. You click on the link in the description down below, but not yet. We're going to give you a question. Yep. We've got one of three possible answers. Don't put them in the comment no. section and tell everyone else. Okay, now the question is, what is, out of these three options, an actual Crank Brothers product? A. Candy. B. Sweetie. C. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. It could be broccoli. It could be. So, if you want to win this amazing dropper post, and it is lovely, it yep. really is lovely, then you know what to do. After the show, click on the link in the description down below. Go and see if you can get it. It could be yours. 
It's the time of the week where we find out if your riding is going in the right direction. If you're progressing, yes. it is the progression set. I've got one here for you, Neil, from Caden Green, who's built a little wooden kicker. Yes. Just goes to show you, you don't need an amazing piece of uh, riding scenery. Um, you can just use your front drive, which is what Caden's doing here. Yeah. Now check this out, first run through on his kicker, coming in. Yeah. Yeah, but this yeah. is progression session kinda, after all. Kind of reminds me of Napoleon Dynamite, this. Yes, yeah, no, it's going in a better direction than that. Oh, great right. film. Um, here he comes in, bit more speed, bit more confidence now. Oh yeah. Yeah, like it. That's and then cool. this last one, I think he's starting to get a little bit overconfident here because if you notice, Too you, being, you being the coach that you are, ooh, oh, bit of, a little bit, bit of angle on the landing yeah. there. So, but nice video, thanks Caden. No, this one is brilliant. This is Connor uh, in SoCal. This is serious. 12 is years old. Unbelievable what kids will do at that age. Oh, that's a big jump, isn't it's it? It's a big jump. Casey's He's a little bit keep, first go. Just keeps clipping the case. That's awesome. Dunk. Here he comes in for this one. That's amazing. That last Proper one. Noses it in. Look at this, coming in slow-mo. That last one, he really, ah. Oh, Look how high he goes. Flies over there. Love it. Great oh. progression. We love seeing see your ride moving forwards and getting better all the time. It's a great thing to see. So send them in to us at dirtshed at gmbn.com. You can see yourself right here. Now, Blake usually brings us in tees and hacks and bodges, but you didn't bring any didn't. hacks and bodges this No. Way. No, but fortunately I did. <laughs> and I want to start with this one for Eugenio Chavez, who's made this pretty ace discard. Oh, wow. So when he's uh, lubing up his cassette on the other side of the wheel, Basically, you can go spray to his heart's content and none of that oil yeah, goes on his... See. I get nervous when I do clever, that. Neil, clever, Neil. You just clever. have to be very careful when you remove that, though, because there's oil all over that, I think. Neil is not convinced by this one, Eugenio. Well, I'm sure it works. It's a good effort, it's a good effort. Right, what about this one? What about this one? Minimal, from Dale, minimal. but it's okay. minimal use of bike products, but yeah. he has, in this beer barrel, used two beer. headset spacers. Yeah. So it's kind of a bike hack. Yeah. But it's also it's bike bits a there. brewery hack. Sounds good to me. And I can tell you that the beer brewing in there is named after our one and only Scotty Lachlan. It is called Pedaling. Aye, oh, perfect. <laughs> Here you go, that's my hacks and bodges this week. What you got? Oh, I've got... This one's from James Arthur. He uh, didn't have a GoPro mount or anything for his helmet. Right, right. So he tied it with string. That looks... It's an expensive camera to hold uh, with string. It is. It looks, sort of looks like it's in the right position, so... Yeah, does, I want to see a like, POV of it. It looks like it could fall out. Mm, yeah, fall out. I'm not convinced. Bodge. Yeah. Bodge. 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 This one, Hack or Bodge, this is from Darren McAvoy. He wants to service his fork, so he's made this stand to hold his fork. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's used um, a lot of wood. Has yeah. he screwed that? Wood. Ratchet clamps. Ratchet clamps. No, he hasn't screwed it to his It almost table. looks as though he could have used a set of forks to create this fork holder. Uh, that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, that is it's good. very good. It's, in, it's ingenious. Good. Yeah. Ingenious. And that's what we like to see in hacks and bodges. Keep them coming. Let's see your ingenuity. Keep them coming to Dirt Shed at gmbn.com. You can see it just down there. Mm. Send them there and we'll have a look at them. Caption contest, right, we had a fabulous photo last week of uh, Blake and Scotty on a horse. Donkey. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, donkey. Donkey. Okay, that might change things because um, I've got this one to start us off from Rupert S who says, when Scotty and Blake just can't stop horsing around. Mm, I would say ass and around. <laughs> it was terrible, anyway. Sorry Rupert, you're not winning with that. What you got, Blake? Oh, I've got one from BR Productions. It says, ha 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 Scotty, you can't pedal this one. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But the winner is Miles Alex MTB. The captions looks like they're having a bucking good time on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good. that's a good one. Is that the winner? That right. is the winner. So that's send us your details. And... Yes, you win make? yourself a water bottle. Win that. Um, and to try and win a water bottle for next week's show, uh, take a look at this week's photo and give us your best caption for that. It's your chance to win this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, this is the bit we have to take really serious each week because really? we're making movie stars. Oh. Yeah, I love this of bit. Of fellow riders. I love this, this is bit. like this is maybe the best thing we can give back to mountain biking. Okay. Your edits. moment. Yeah. So the first Heroes. star this week then is Adam Batty, who is riding downhill. <laughs> 
in Lady Donkeyland. <laughs> <laughs> this is Langothen, or if you're Welsh, oh. Langothen. Langothen. It's near yeah. me, and it's super steep, this place, I know that. Mm. And it's in the snow. Oh, yeah. so you oh. can ride in the snow. Something you haven't seen for a while, Neil. Don't fancy that. The sun is not out in this uh, Oh, shoot. look how steep it is. It I bet is, it's so it slippery. Is really steep. Good on them. Yeah, that absolutely looks shredded. And steep and slippery and... Uh, uh, mm. And further going to prove that you can get out in the snow and ride your mountain bike and have a great yeah. time. Just about. Just about. Yeah. They're only just magic. <laughs> okay, my viewer edit this week is from Guy Fenton. Um, it's Guy, Reno and... Billy. Billy Yay. riding in this video. Um, I really like it. They're having a lot of fun. Check it out, guys. They're having a bit of a game. Look at that. Playing on the... Uh, Burmas before they ride them. Oh, look at that um, guy. And they're basically having a really good day. Um, oh. and I really like these edits where it feels like, I don't know, sort of feeling of like half term. Yeah. School's out, yeah. you've gone out on the bike, it's a sunny day. Good vibes, like it. Thanks very, for sending it in, Guy. Very good video. Mine, yes, I'm going to throw yours. it to Seager. He's just come up with this. It starts off crazy, it's like, Crash. It's after crash, crash after crash. Yeah. They're sending their bodies and meat everywhere, and it's gnarly. But at the end, there's success. Yeah, big and, jumps. Yeah, yeah. There's big jumps on it. Oh yeah, they look. He's like, like he's having a great time. Like woods. Yeah, it's good. I idea. like this one. Well, we said it at the top. This is where you become a movie star. Send them in, and you'll be like all our friends we've shown today. A movie star. That's what happens when this. Am I overselling it? I no. don't think I am. No. I don't no. think I am. Send in your edit to dirtshed at gmbn.com and you will be at the Oscars. Maybe. <laughs> dirtshed Oscars. Probably not. Hey, should, we should bring one out. <laughs> what? Dirtshed Oscars. Now, Tyler Guthnall has definitely not got me in the mood for any crashes with this nasty shoulder injury. Oh, that what do you guys painful. think? Oh, it looks nasty. There's too much metal Too much work. metal work in that photo. It's not put me in the mood for anything other than going to bed and having a rest. Well, <laughs> well I've got one. Michael Towler, he had this crazy crash. He's 73 years old, he's been riding for a year. Let's have a look. He got, he survived, he was hurt, and a little that's bit right. It's coming in, little coming bit into a little ledge. Look whoa, whoa! Oh, that's There's rocky. a little cliff there, and he oh went off God, it. he went flying. Oh, look at his broke, helmet! He broke his helmet. He's, he's knocked the chin guard off his helmet. No <laughs> that way. That is serious. I'm glad I he's I didn't know right. that could happen. No. I didn't know that could happen no. at all. Look at him. Right, well, I don't want to bring you guys down, because, uh, you know, I was trying to get you in the mood here, but uh, I've got this one from Bex. Now, I want to assure you that before I show you this, all right, no toddlers were hurt in the making of this film. Well, okay. Right. They, they nearly were, okay? <laughs> so, here we go. Well, look at Prepare little, yourselves. Little it's all looking fine. Sweet little balance bike. Good yeah. form. Uh, over, slight oversteer. And oh, wow! Oh. Oh. Ow! Well, has that he was fine. Us, he was fine. Has that got us in, got us in the mood? I don't care. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> My one, guys, is going to Aiden Horn. This guy is a brakeless dude. He can spin the bars like no one else. It's insane. Check him out. Mine is Miltiada's Jacka, a Chilean rider who came second at the Andes Pacifico, gave Jerome Clements a run for his money all week, super fast, and word on the street is he's only been riding a mountain bike for three years. Three years? Oh. Wow. And, and you said earlier on you think this guy's the next Aaron Gwynn. Well, I can't believe how fast he is. Wow. Really? really? Wow. Really? That's, That's some claim. That is. Someplace. Right, I'm going to throw to Richard Vokes, who captured this amazing clip of the 51 guys riding on the Great Trail. Um, it's unbelievable how big these jumps are, and they it's a great big. train of riding in the snow. In the... <sighs> Pretty epic. I'm going to throw it to Jack Moore, Australian rider. He's going to get some top tens in the World Cup down on this year, and he's got the sickest compilation of whips, scrubs, and just having a good time down in California. Is that top tens a promise? Yeah. Scotty promise right there. It's time for some shout outs and I've got an awesome one this week. It's from the boys back in Scotland. It's on the Shredder MTB Zion page. 
and they're actually just riding these trails. They look so much fun. You've got Ryan Milton and you've also got Reese Wilson, World Cup riders who are just showing how much fun they have riding their bikes. It's a good edit. Yeah, mine is the drop and roll tour in the Philippines. Good vibes. Danny and the boys out there riding in front of some cool crowds. The kids are absolutely loving it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think we've all decided that after watching that video, we don't want to play a game of bike with the drop no and roll bike tour. With me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Or maybe we do. do. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe. In it, not to win it. Well, I'm shouting out to Connor Ferron. He's riding his bike out in BC, and this one is just, it's just thrives mountain biking mm, yeah it certainly looks like a lot of fun and some that's a wicked looking trail it is too. a beautiful trail okay i've got two shout outs this week um two? from to foxhead europe's uh little trailer oh, for an upcoming mm, film it looks good. amazing it's called ride your blooping bike um it's gonna be amazing josh bryceland and crew going mental having a great time um, looks very funny. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm just going to lastly shout out to Ali C, who put a video up on Instagram the other day that just made my heart melt. It's amazing. Um, can't tell how great this bike, bike rider is. Yeah. Um, and I think this little clip proves it. No, it's very good. Right, it's time for a bike vault party. Classic. Scott's got the horn in a bike vault way. And we're going to get in there. Have a look. Oh, that Stop horn's it. so loud. Right, yeah. ready, boys? Yeah. Really. Here we go. Right, first one in. From Alan Lorne. Oh, special. What is that? That's, that's, that's nice. nice. That's a cross no, bike. no, no. What's what? he got a set of boxes on it for? Cross country bike with Daniel Thorkel. It's, it's a weird set that There's one, isn't it? There's something wrong here. Is it here. so weird it's right? No. It's a nice. <laughs> it's a nice. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. Oh, I feel nice. that Christopher mm. Lind Anderson in Varberg, Sweden. Mm. I feel that he might get there first. Go on. Yeah, super, super nice. Super nice. Yeah, very, very popular bike. Okay. Oh, oh. 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 the Rocky Mountain oh. Sherpa, is that not? Yeah, it's yeah. Really yeah. Like yeah. 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 It's his wife's. Yeah. Oh, look. Hang on a second. It's a girl. There's a little gnome in the picture. Yeah. Oh. I think it's just a nice. Super just a nice. nice. No, you can't see the bike. Just a nice. He's hit the horn now, Scott. Just, nice. Nice. Just one squeak per super nice. Oh. nice. Okay, <laughs> right on to Emerson Apap's bike. Uh, uh, nice. That is a specialised, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yep. I mean, again, I feel that's just a nice. nice. That's it's nice. just a nice. I've, I'm underwhelmed by that photo, I've got to be honest. It's nice. Yeah. Sorry, Emerson. Right, okay, moving oh, on that's to Blaine Henderson. You know? yeah, He's nice. out for ride. No, this is nice. doing it for me. I need no. something with some kick in it. Yeah. I mean, a little bit more nice. tenace. Nice yeah. bike. Nice yeah. bike. Cool. Nice. No horn. Mm. Again. Mm. Do you know what More I think? Do you know what I think is cutting us short here at the moment? The bikes are nice, but it's a lot of snow. It is. It's a lot of white. Is it winter or something? Yeah. I don't like we are out. Keep your bikes coming to the bike vault. We'll put them in there and we'll just love it. You'll love it. Everybody's happy. We love it. Super nice is all round. On the channel this week, it's a banger on Saturday with Bounce Video. It's all about coronation in the gym and getting better at mountain biking. And then on Sunday, it's the one that you've all been waiting for. It's Enduro versus Downhill. <laughs> on Maintenance Monday, it is One Stop Box. A cryptic name, but you have to wait and see. On Tuesday, it's Top 10 Reasons to Ride Cross Country. Mm. And the middle of the week, Wednesday, it's How to Set Up a Downhill Bike. Then on Thursday, of course, we've got our regular, it's Ask GMBM, where we basically answer any question you can throw at us. And on Friday, what is it, Scott? <laughs> We're back in the Dirt Shed Show! Let's do it! Then, not now. Next Friday. Wow, what a show that was. Oh, top brilliant. fun, top fun. It's good to be back in the shed. But yeah. if you want to see how I got on in Andy Pacifico, click down here for my diary. And if you want to be like Ken Block, but on a mountain bike, click here, how to drift. <laughs> oh, nice. And if you want to give Scotty a little tickle on the nose and subscribe, then hit just there. And you probably want to go to the shop too, so why not just slap Martin in the face and go and buy something? Give us a thumb up like if you enjoyed the Dirt Shed Show.